And then, of course, it's the final uh, weeks of the stellar all-time great career of Coach K. Um, and I, I, I want to play this soundbite for the, our audience. Uh, I'm assuming you, you heard it. I don't know. Uh, you, you travel around. So did you hear J.J. Redick um, along with Jason Tatum on his podcast? Did you hear this? Exchange. I did not yet. I haven't okay. listened to it yet. All right, so I'm, this I'm is a devoted listener, though. Uh, of the Old Man in the Three podcast, J.J. Redick having fellow Dookie Jason Tatum on, talking about Coach K in a timeout that he witnessed when he returned just recently uh, with his kids, and they were sitting behind the bench and heard this exchange uh, with Coach K right in front of him. There was a timeout in the second half, and I could see it. I mean, the, ba- the body language was bad on the court. And... <laughs> You know, everybody runs back. You sit down and you wait for coach. The so coach meets with the with Shire and, and Chris Carwell and Nolan. And he comes back to the huddle. And all he says is he looks at each kid and he says, I hate your f- faces. <laughs> <laughs> your f- faces suck. And then he walks away. That was the timeout. And I, I thought to myself, man, how many times, how many times did that happen? Some similar version of that. Jay, does that sound familiar to you? Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> and that, that's sort of kind of the, the difficulty of, of this last season, if you want to call it a difficulty, is on one hand, we are rightfully so throwing rose petals at Coach K's feet. But when people tell stories about, you know, years ago or things that happen when times get tough, I, I think sometimes, you know, some people can take the wrong thing from it. And, you know, Coach K is, is a, an amazing competitor, and, and we have had really difficult times. You know, he, he is not perfect, um, but he's as close to perfect as a coach that I've ever seen. And, and so, like, some of these things being discussed, and especially the old-time stuff coming out, you know, <laughs> so, some people may clutch their pearls and, and express, you know, kind of uh, uh, disgust by it, but – um, the players get together and we laugh about those things right. now, uh, about stuff that he said, that he said or did. And, uh, and I, I, for one love it, but, but you just don't want people to take it the wrong way. No, I love it too. I used to have, I had an old school teacher at the Medill school of journalism who would treat all of us as students as if we were employees by a news director in the television world. And those are some very gruff people and it rubbed some of the students the wrong way. I took it as to mean this is being treated like an adult and this is the way the world is, the real world is. I, I heard that Tatum was laughing, saying that, you know, body language also is very important to Coach K and he's heard that before. I laughed. Uh, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, you know, when a, a grown man says this to a kid, but this is a coach player relationship here and their faces needed to be told that. And I found that very funny. Jay. But, but, yeah, and and the stuff that that happened years ago when he was younger, right? Um, I'm sure that that he, maybe there were a few things he'd like to have back, or we all would uh, when, when you first start out. But when I, I my first year playing for him was his third year, and uh, as a coach, and my first NCAA tournament, tournament game was his first, and so you know there were things that happened in practice that if you told the stories now, people go, well, that doesn't sound kosher. That shouldn't be said, or. But but it was it was in a heated situation and 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 it got the point across and but there was never a time, Rich, that I've always taken this from Tony Dungy. You can be demanding without being demeaning. Mm-hmm. And Coach K may have used some salty language over the years, and and I do too. I'm a world class cursor, mm-hmm. but but I don't remember a time where he was ever demeaning. Whether he where he went to your character, he he would he would go to your play, and uh, and it would be about being the best version of yourself. Um, but, but, but he did say one time, uh, and he was building us up. He came into the locker room and, and, and called us out by name and said, I would rather have you than any other. He said to me, I would rather have you than any other big guy in the country. And after the meeting was over, Mark Allery said, yep, he'd rather have you than David Robinson. That sounded really credible. <laughs> <laughs> don't want Wayman Tisdale. I want Billis. He, he really, his credibility took a huge hit. When he said that. <laughs> I love that. I guess before I let you go, how do you think he is approaching uh, the final weeks? And then you just said you shared the first NCAA tournament game of his career together. These will be his last. How do you think he's approaching it, Jay? Or I, 
yeah, he just had his second to last home game against Florida State. And the last home game that he'll ever coach on the floor of Cameron Indoor Stadium will be against North Carolina on Saturday, March 5th. Mm. And, and I'll be there. There'll be a, probably 100 former players and who knows how many dignitaries and the like. Um, but I think it'll be intensely emotional, and he'll do his best to manage it and try to keep it away from the players. But it, it'll be inescapable. Um, it, it'll it, like the tickets. Some of the tickets are going for twenty thousand bucks, and I started thinking, you know, I got a seat in the booth, but for twenty thousand, I might want to get that thing up and watch, <laughs> watch it on TV. But but it, it'll be it'll be an unbelievable happening. But he won't be able to escape the emotion. Uh, but I know. For knowing him so so long, I know he'll manage it the best that it can be managed. Uh, but it'll it'll be a lot of a lot of fun to to watch and to uh, to reminisce and all that. I'm going to be up there early, and I'm probably going to stay late uh, because there'll be so many former players there. So I'll uh, I'll probably tip a few back with them as soon as mm. the game's over. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.